Um, oh, it's such a stupid question. When people say something like that, it's, it's pretty nasty, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get a slap. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Roll my eyes so hard. When did you decide to be transgender? When did you decide to be a human being? Well, I think I just woke up one day in 2008 and thought, oh, this will be a laugh. I don't think you decide to be transgender, it's do you? It's there, you know, you discover it. My whole childhood was just basically like, you're a boy, you can't play with that. You're a boy, you can't do that. You're a boy, no, no, no. And every night I'd go to bed and I'd be like, God, why don't they understand that? Um, I'm not a boy. You know, being gay isn't quite extreme enough, so I'll just, I'll just be transgender. I don't know, when you don't decide to be transgender. Have you had the op? Have you had the op? Daily. Daily people ask you that, all the time. Well, I had quite a few of them. Which are we referring to? Exactly, <laughs> and that's the thing. You know, those old tropes that they have in the media about mm -hmm. sex swap, sex op, the surgery, I mean, if you talk to any trans person, or even if you Google it, you'll know that you know there's no such, there's no just one surgery uh, you know to have. It's actually a series of five operations for guys. So yeah. the op is so like so decades ago now. When people ask me, so when are you getting it? You know, la la la. la then I'm like, you know what? I can do it tomorrow. Give me the money. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the money. Let's do it. If it's not, have you had the op? It's when are you having the op? Yeah. Or have you thought about the art? Do you know what? That, what that, about the art? It's expensive, you know, and for me, I'm trying to pay for everything myself, you know? Yeah. I don't want help from the government, you know? Because here in England, I can ask for it, and it's yeah. amazing, you know? I appreciate it, but I want to, if I can, I want to pay for it myself. Yeah. Which bathroom do you use? <laughs> Which bathroom do you use? <laughs> That's funny. The clean one. Oh my God, if I had to go into a men's bathroom, I'd Die. I've recently, at Westminster, had to fight for about a year to try and get gender neutral toilets. Oh, and was that you? Mm -hmm. High five. Well yeah. done! There is a debate going on at the moment which is completely yeah, ludicrous yeah. because you can't expect like a girl to walk into the guys or a guy to walk into the girls and it's just, it's, I think it's, it's really dehumanising. It really is. After having a bad experience in Soho where I got turned away from male toilets, I tend to just use my own at home, which is gender neutral. I think my mum was worried about my safety in the toilets as well. I don't go to the toilet when I'm out in public at all. By law, you are entitled to use whichever toilet you want to. You don't want to see us at the urinal next year. So, how do you have sex? What do you do in bed? Oh my god. How do you have sex? Fabulously. What do you do in bed, you know? Like it's all sleep. courses, courses. Sleep. Well, mostly I eat ice cream. I sleep a lot. There's crumbs from a whole lot of rich teas. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't generally want to have that conversation with someone if the if I'm not considering sleeping with them or having them as a partner. Yeah. You know? I don't go around asking strangers what they do in bed with other people, so why do they think they have license to ask me? Okay, go. Are you a drag queen? <laughs> <laughs> no! Are you a drag queen? Well, nobody's paying me. There's a definite difference between a transvestite and a transsexual. Transvestites, that's somebody who maybe dresses up in the clothes that are associated with the other gender, so maybe a boy who likes dressing up in girls' clothes. But they don't feel they are that gender. Drag queens uh, who are very glamorous and it's, it's usually more of a performance. Whereas a transsexual person, transgender person, actually are that gender. Yeah. People also say, like, like, automatically assume that you know a lot about the drag scene and they're like, oh my god, I've seen, I don't know, RuPaul. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, completely. Well done. It's like some people you know? just think it's like a super deluxe version of a drag queen. <laughs> yeah. We're upgrading. Really, yeah. No. The next one is, are you sure you aren't just gay? Are you sure you just aren't gay? Oh God, I wish. Wouldn't it be fabulous just to be gay? I think this links to whether or not sex, um, sexuality is linked yeah. to gender yeah. and they have nothing to do with each other. Like I'm bisexual and she's heterosexual. When it comes to gender versus sexuality, I think you recognise your gender much sooner than you recognise your sexuality anyway. Can I see a picture of you before? Oh my God. Can I see a picture of you before? Uh, no. Just no. 
I, I would never just be like, oh yeah, here I am. No. Here's, here's who I was. I don't really have those pictures handy. When I came to university and I came out to my halls friends, um, one of them said to me, um, oh, I just went on your old Facebook and saw like a problem with you. Like, you look so pretty then. And I was like, Wait, why would you say that? I've got my pictures from before and... Uh, Are you happy to share them? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, look how ugly I was, now you know why. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh my god, we spoke about this. Can I feel your boobs? Wow. Can I feel your boobs, penis? Or just grabbing them? Sure. Sure, yeah, go for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's harassment. <laughs> Can we go away? <laughs> he goes up to like someone and says, can I feel your tits? No, they just do it. Yeah. Do they? We're just people like... have just done <gasps> it to me. Yeah. I'd go okay, spare. I've had people do that, like literally sexually assault you and, and grab your, your, your breast or, or literally go to put their hands between your legs. I think they see it like, do you know if you know a guy and he starts going to the gym and he gets really big arms mm. off of going to the gym mm. and you go like, oh my God, you're getting really muscly. I think they see it like that, yeah. but it's like, no, don't touch me. Uh, like it happened just... to me, it happened to really? me that somebody just, mm, then I just grabbed their dicks, I pulled them up and I was like, do they can I not break a hand? Oh, you're gonna go crazy. Yeah, they say, okay. I can tell that you used to be a man. <laughs> I can tell that you used to be a man slash woman. Uh-huh. No, you can't. It's, it's a bit insulting uh, to, to hear that from someone. It's almost like they're trying to uh, claim or, or kind of remember um, you before you transition. I'd feel quite hurt if someone said that to me. Uh -huh. But um, if they have a problem with it, it's their problem. <sighs> I never know what to call them. I never know what to call them, he, she, they. You call that person however they are presenting themselves, however they desire to be presented. Well, why don't you just ask? Ask the person. Trust me, they will not be offended or they shouldn't be offended because we'd much rather that you ask us politely than you say the wrong thing. And if you do say the wrong thing, you make a mistake, just apologise very quickly, very briefly, and then just move on. Do you think you'll ever go back? I need to go forward first. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever go back? <laughs> Hell no. Look at me, of course I'm not going to go back. Well, go back to what? Being a boy? Like, um, no, no, that's definitely not going to happen. Am I going to go back to being depressed? No. I think because they see like the physical changes, they think that you've kind of gone somewhere, but you haven't. You're kind of just adjusting how you've always felt on the inside? Um, I think I know like one person who's who's had a bit of a wobble and, and gone back and they've been on breakfast television, they've been on all the newspapers and all the rest of it. So I think that this idea that people change their minds, they really don't, like it's so, so, so rare. I am out and proud of being trans, T-R-A-N-S. I'm trans, get over it.